Oh, sis, you must lock the room. Yep, here we go. I'm doing that now. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> hey, Good room morning. is locked and we are recording. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful family. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back. <sighs> Whose turn is it to read? Uh, who read into his presence? I would enter now. I think it's, I think it's my turn to read. Good. All right. Do we know which lesson we're on? <laughs> 158. That's good. <laughs> That's a lesson I have here too. Oh, see, one <laughs> mind, sis, one mind. Today I learn, today I learn to give as I receive. What has been given you? The knowledge that you are a mind, in mind and purely mind, sinless forever, wholly unafraid, because you were created out of love. That's what's been given us. Mm -hmm. Nor have you left your source, remaining as you were created. This was given you as knowledge, which you cannot lose. It was given as well to every living thing, for by that knowledge only does it live. So can we just stop here for, because yeah. the ego wants to skip over this. All right. Um, he, the, he, he asks here, what has been given you? Yeah. Right. You were created out of love. That means we are love. That also means that we are entirely sinless, mm -hmm. uninterrupted, without ending for eternity. There's no possibility of any opposite mm -hmm. coming in to threaten us. Would you agree, sis? Yeah, and that holy and afraid you know, if we are mind, purely mind, the mind of God is our mind, then how, you know, we can't experience anything that God isn't experiencing. And as love, we're holy without fear. Um, and I love that this is the knowledge that goes with us. And this knowledge is life itself, which has nothing to do with mythical me or a dream of separation. This is that status. What he's referring to is this. You know, pre-thought of separation, uh, this is the mind, right? Pure love, sinless forever, holy and afraid, created out of love, by love, for love. Yeah. Okay. So uh, for me, what helps me yeah. is to know that that is changeless. Yeah. Okay. So we are fearless. There's never been a moment where we were not fearless in truth. So if fear seems to be on the scene, that's not us. That's not our real self. It could not be. So if we're feeling fear, that's not us. That's mythical me. That's the dream stuff. Mm. Yeah. 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 I like that Jesus again saying anything that changes by definition is false. So if we are love, purely sinless, holy, you know, good, any experience of those opposites are false by definition because what we are cannot change. Yes. There's a great peace in feeling into that, mm -hmm. allowing it to seep in deeply.
Thank you, sis. Mm. Okay. Shall I go on? Yes, please. You have received all this. Can we stop there? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that sentence? You have received all this. And you, beautiful family, have received all this. This, in this instant, as we feel this, We, we join our minds and return our awareness to what we have already received. Everything is healed in this recognition and acceptance. Everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Thanks for pulling me out of my head into my heart. Thank you. Oh, it's so beautiful to have a group hug in my heart, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Our heart. Yeah. Forgive me, family. I'm with you now. <laughs> no one who walks the world but has received it it is not this knowledge which you give for this is what creation gave meaning god right yeah all this cannot be learned what then are you to learn to give today? Referring back to the title, Today I Learn to Give as I Receive. Yes. Our lesson yesterday evoked a theme found early in the text. Experience cannot be shared directly in the way that vision can. The revelation that the Father and the Son are one will come in time to every mind. Yet, is that time determined by the mind itself, not taught? Can we just stop there and maybe unpack? This is something I really didn't understand for 20 odd years, you know, in the illusion of time. Experience cannot be shared directly in the way that vision can. Um, what we just experienced then in that holy instant mm -hmm. of joining is the giving and the receiving of vision. Mm -hmm. That can be shared, thank God. And that's what we're here to do is to share that Christ vision yes. in our holy instance together. That is what's 
going to collapse and is collapsing time. Mm -hmm. Collapsing space, collapsing the dream of separation mm -hmm. and bringing the recognition of union back into our awareness. We never lost that union, but we did lose the awareness of it temporarily. And so when we're just talking about our experiences, while they might be helpful pointers, they really don't do anything because somebody else isn't feeling it. Yes. No real communication going on. But in the joining, through communication, minds joined, that's where the body disappears from awareness. That's where the time is collapsed and the miracle is and the memory of the father is. So nothing real, even pointing to experiences, it's not truly helpful. It's the joining where both brothers are blessed in, in, a, in a mutual felt state. Yes. Yes. And that's what the ego is the most terrified of. Yeah. It's happy to share spiritual experiences, right? But uh, woo, when you bring in a holy instant of tear-filled union, filled with joy and gratitude for each other, mm -hmm. it's terrified. Yeah. And he says that only, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And he says that if it can't be shared, it's not real. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, sis. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, this is a beautiful lesson. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning it as I'm experiencing and learning it as we're reading it. Yeah, it's wonderful. Well, you already learned it. Yes, but it's... Okay. Good. It's just that you it's really coming in to the core through this and and I'll tell you sis the reason why it's it's being deeply accepted now and recognized is because you're sharing it with our family mm -hmm. right definitely yeah what a difference it has been these lessons to share it with with you and the family as opposed to doing the self study Oh, well, there's no comparison. No, it's, it's a bit of contrast learning right there. Yeah. 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 So grateful for all of you. Me too. <laughs> for making this a living, the living word of the Course in Miracles. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That Thank brought you. something up. <laughs> oh, good. See? Mm. Oh. Ooh. Okay. The time is set already. It appears to be quite arbitrary, yet there is no step along the road that anyone takes but by chance. It has already been taken by him, although he has not yet embarked on it. For time but seems to go in one direction. But we, we but undertake a journey that is over, yet it seems to have a future still unknown to us. Can we stop there? Because this is another one that I, yes. I was so confused about for many, many years. You know? um, maybe just you can help me, please. Yes, just, we don't need to go in depth. But mm, uh, time is already over, mm -hmm. right? So this we've got to look at this multi-dimensionally, yeah? Because the dream, it is a dream, and it is a dream of linear time and space, yeah? Um, it happened, the separation, the gap, seemed to happen in an instant and in the instant it occurred this the idea of separation it was also over because god's answer was inconceivable yes so there's the idea god's answer thank you 
Thank you. So his answer is available in every instant here in the dream. Because in that holy instant, time is collapsed. So that's we're right. We're accepting God's yes. answer. Yeah, God's answer, which is the we're accepting the undoing of the idea of separation of the tiny mad idea. Yeah. Every time we accept atonement, mm -hmm. we're accepting that. That's it. Thank that you. Separation never occurred. One one problem, one solution. Okay, so the reliving of it, 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 it's our reliving of it is our insistence of or our dedication to the God of time, time and space to this dream. So it's only happening in mind and we're serving it by trying to perpetuate it, but it's only occurring in the dream and not actually occurring in, in truth at all. That's right. So yeah. we're, we're undertaking a journey, but it, that journey was over a long, long time ago. But yeah. here we are pretending to be mythical me stuck in time and pretending that we're on some story that we don't already know what the answer is. Right. And just remember, remembering, too, that we do have the illusion. We do have the illusion of the power of choice. Um, uh, we have free will. Mm -hmm. right. right. But the truth is that we only have two options and one of them's not real. We're either wishing with the ego mm -hmm. or we're willing with God. Yeah. But and nothing else, there's no gray area. Right. It's either black or white. That's yeah. it. Are you wishing with the ego or are you willing with God? Yeah. And to come to see that one is a choice for death and one is choice for life with a capital L. Yes. Okay, thanks, sis. Thank you. Time is a trick, a sleight of hand, a vast illusion in which figures come and go as if by magic. Yet there is a plan behind appearances which does not change. The script is written. When experience will come to end your doubting has been set. For we but see the journey from the point at which it ended. Looking back on it, imagining we make it once again, reviewing mentally what has gone by. Can we, can we stop there? Because there's been um, quite a confusion in the course community over this um statement that the script is written mm -hmm. yeah and i'm just i'm just hearing a word okay yeah i've got too many things coming into my mind <laughs> right now um the script is written uh, i have heard some teachers of the course and students quite a few over the years believe say they believe that the script is written and their interpretation of that means that uh, basically everything that we do here in the dream is predestined mm -hmm. or predetermined, right? Mm -hmm. So just relax and go with the flow. And it's, it's, you know, if you have a car accident, it was predestined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tough. You know, if you die of cancer, well, mm -hmm. predestined, you know. There's yeah. Do about it. Um, right. Yeah. I mean, it's all right. Yeah. That is not what Jesus means. And can I just insert a sentence that just came in like a lightning bolt? Sure. If that were the case, mm -hmm. then everything that Jesus came in and did every time he performed a miracle would have been in defiance or in contradistinction to God's will. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. for. I just got the chills then. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Every single moment we have a choice mm -hmm. to will with God or to wish with the ego. Mm -hmm. 
there's only one script. You know what he means by that? Yes. Yes. It's that plan that's behind the appearances that does not Thanks. change. That's it. That's what he means by the script is written. Yeah, it's love script. Mm -hmm. It says you've never changed. You've never separated. You've never left me. I love you too much. My answer was unequivocal and irrevocable. Yes. The separation is inconceivable to the mind of love. Where could we go? Yeah. That's the script. And that's worth that's celebrating. That's a hallelujah. Thank you. That's our guarantee of innocence. You can and all he's that. asking us is, please, just accept it. That's the atonement. Mm -hmm. Accept it. Receive it fully. Breathe it in. Know it. Live it. How do you know it? How do you live it? How do you accept it? By giving it. Yeah. By like seeing it. it in everyone else. By allowing the love that you are to flow freely. Yeah. Thanks, sis. Whoa. Oh, boy. <laughs> Big lessons, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, paragraph five. The teacher does not give experience because he did not learn it. It, experience, revealed itself to him at its appointed time. But vision is his gift. This he can give directly. For Christ's knowledge is not lost. Because he has a vision he can give to anyone who asks. Oh, yes. The yes. Father's will and his are joined in knowledge yet there is a vision which the holy spirit sees because the mind of christ beholds it too so in what we were just doing when we opened up this lesson you know, somebody's individual experience isn't learned. It's something that that comes to us um, here in the dream of separation. But vision is from beyond it. Vision is that plan be behind appearances. Mm -hmm. And that's the gift that we receive that we can then extend. And it's the Christ that receives it and extends it to the Christ in another. Yes. That's the vision that we can give to anyone who's calling for that love. And that's the light mm -hmm. that subsumes the darkness of the ego thought system for everyone. Yes. Mm. Here is the joining of the world of doubt and shadows made with the intangible. Here is the quiet place within the world made holy by forgiveness and by love. Here are all contradictions reconciled, for here the journey ends. Experience, unlearned, untaught, unseen, is merely there. This is beyond our goal for it transcends what needs to be accomplished. Our concern is with Christ's vision. This we can attain. So this is transcending the world's learning and the world's experience, unlearned, untaught, unseen, and focusing only on the the scripted plan of love behind appearances, Christ vision, we learn that and then we share it and it's strengthened. Yes. Okay, thank you. Christ vision has one law, 
It does not look upon a body and mistake it for the son whom God created. It beholds a light beyond the body, an idea beyond what can be touched, a purity undimmed by errors, pitiful mistakes, and fearful thoughts of guilt from dreams of sin. It sees no separation, and it looks on everyone, on every circumstance, all happenings, and all events without the slightest fading of the light it sees. That's the universal love of God right there. So it it looks it looks past the temptation mm -hmm. to believe what the body senses is reporting. Exactly. Right? Yes. Yeah. So this this can be taught and must be taught by all who would achieve it. That's right, because we can't receive anything until we've given it away. It requires but the recognition that the world cannot give anything that faintly can compare with this in value, nor set up a goal which does not merely disappear when this has been perceived. And this you give today. See no one as a body. Greet him as the Son of God he is, acknowledging that he is one with you in holiness. Thus are his sins forgiven him, for Christ has vision which has power to overlook them all. In his forgiveness they are gone. Unseen by one, they merely disappear because a vision of the holiness which lies beyond them comes to take their place. It matters not what form they took, nor how enormous they appeared to be, nor who seemed to be hurt by them. They are no more. And all effects that seem to have gone with them undone and never to be done thus do you learn to give as you receive and thus christ's vision looks on you as well this lesson is not difficult to learn if you remember in your brother you see but yourself if he be lost in sin, so must you be. If you see light in him, your sins have been forgiven by yourself. Each brother whom you meet today provides another chance to let Christ's vision shine on you and offer you the peace of God. It matters not when revelation comes, for that is not of time. Yet time has still one gift to give in which true knowledge is reflected in a way so accurate its image shares its unseen holiness. Its likeness shines with its immortal love. We practice seeing with the eyes of Christ today. And by the holy gifts we give, Christ's vision looks upon ourselves as well. Today I learn to give as I receive. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, family. Thank you. Beautiful healing for us all. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.